Good morning, and thank you for checking out this video. This is going to be part two with the Gretsch G2220 short scale electric bass. Please check out the first video featuring this Gretsch bass where I uh, did a shootout between the stock the Dario round wound strings versus two different kinds of tape wounds. Now from that video, I received a request to try a set of flat wounds on this particular bass. My favorite flat wound strings are the Tomastic Infeld uh, flats, uh, gauges 100 to 43. And I just happen to have a set that I've been carrying around in my gig bag as a set of spare strings. So I've restrung this bass now with the TI flats. I'm going to use the same clip from the part one of this video for the round wound tones. So I'm going to put uh, that clip up now uh, for a tonal reference. And then we'll come back and we'll go through all the tones with these TI flats. Here we go. Let's start with the tones we can get from the round wound Adarios. Here's with the neck pickup tone all the way down. Here's with a tone at 50%. Here's a tone wide open, all the way up. Let's put the pickup selector in the middle. So both pickups on now, volume still wide open, tone all the way down. Tone at 50%. And here's the tone all the way open. Now, I don't think the bridge pickup soloed is a particularly usable tone on this bass. Uh, but we're tried anyways with the tone knob here at 50%. Now that we've run through all the tones with the bass alone, let's try it in the setting of a track. Here we go.
All right, now let's compare this bass now strung with the Tomastic Infeld flat mounts. So let's run it through with the volume wide open and the tone pot all the way closed, so 0%. Here's with a tone pot at 50% neck pickup. Tone pot all the way open. Selector the middle position, so both pickups, tone at zero. Tone knob at 50, both pickups. Tone knob all the way open. Bridge pickup, tone knob at 50%. All right, let's hear it in the context of a drum track. Uh, for this uh, video, I am going to do two passes through this drum track. One with the neck pickup uh, only, but with a tone knob just slightly open. And then I'm going to do a second one with a neck pickup with a tone at 50%, like the other videos. Um, I think with these Tomastic Infelds, uh, there are a few different sweet spots you can get with a short scale bass. So I hope you enjoy these clips.
Summary and final thoughts. Well, it's, uh, it's no surprise that I like these strings. The Tomastic Infeld flats are my go-to uh, flat wound electric bass strings. I have them currently on my uh, custom F bass uh, short scale, on my uh, Mustang, and uh, my landing fretless as well. So I've been playing uh, these Tomastic Infelds uh, gauges 100 to 43 uh, for many, many years now. I like the feel of them. I like the the lower tension. Uh, they're easy to bend. They're easy to play under uh, my fingertips. Out of all the different types of flat wound strings I've tried, these are the most comfortable for me. Uh, and more importantly, they feel the most like an orchestral string. Uh, and my background is from playing uh, violin and cello. So the way these strings feel, it does have that kind of orchestral vibe. Just as important, I like the tone of them as well. They have a bit of a rolled off low end, so you don't really get those subsonic lows. It does have this roll off in the high end as well, which leaves a very nice pleasant mid range. So I quite enjoy the tone I can get from these. There is a catch, uh, however, with that type of roll off. Uh, and that is if you really open up the tone knobs, kind of will give you an unpleasant clanky sound uh, to my ears. So for, for that reason, I tend to play these uh, TI flats with a tone knob about 50% or lower. And I rarely go much higher than half open. Uh, with these strings. Having said that, I think there are lots of uh, different tonal sweet spots you can get in that kind of slightly open to 50% uh, tone knob range. And uh, for me on a short scale, it, it kind of gives me a very nice punchy focused bass sound, which is what I'm looking for uh, in a short scale bass. So I hope you enjoyed this video comparison. Until next time, peace.